Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! Alright, we got one more level to do here. I'm gonna do it as fast as I can, kind of. I have the game paused right here because Gruntilda was about to say something else. What are you seeing, Gruntilda? It really does sound quite absurd. Adventure of a bear and bird. It is interesting how they came up with that idea, the people of Rare. Well, there's a story behind it. I don't know it entirely well. It started off as a game called Project Dream and was going to have a pirate as the main villain. A pirate that we will eventually meet, by the way. Not, not Blubber. And then Banjo was created, but he didn't have Kazooie quite yet. Instead, he had like a backpack with wings, and it's like, well, as long as the backpack's got wings, might as well put a bird in it. <laughs> Yummy! Croctus liked that. Me want yummy egg, too. Yes, indeed. So, welcome to Bubble Gloop Swamp. This level might possibly be my favorite level in the game. Is the music. It is totally the music. This place just has really fun music. It's also the swampiness. I don't know why, but I just like the theme of this place being a swamp. And it's got frogs, and it's got one of my favorite transformations in the game as well. We will get to it eventually. Alright, let's not stand around too much. But I do want to grab these boots back here, so that I can get something hidden behind here. Yes, this. And then get turned around by the camera. Cancel out of the shoes because they kind of slow me down a little. Oh, hold on a sec. Uh, gold feather in there. I don't necessarily need it. What I do need is that. Gotta rush for that. This is gonna be tricksy. Super duper tricksy. That time limit is no joke. The narrow path is no joke. This is Piranha Flower. Keep your smelly feet out. I'm trying. Urgh. An ugly, hairy trespasser. He's after our gold, but he'll never beat us all. Um, yeah, I kind of don't have time for you. Uh, I, I, I don't have time at all. Not even gonna bother waiting for that to run out. I'll just grab what's off in this direction while I have the opportunity. I'll be young and tooty old before you get Gruntilda's gold. She just totally destroyed that Jiggy. Why does she do that with the rest of them? Well, Gruntilda does have a certain level of fairness to her schemes. She could be cheating all sorts of things. Like, she could go ahead and press the switch to turn Tooty ugly right now. But no, she patiently waits for us to get a game over. That's kind of nice of her. Even if she is rotten to the bone. Big bone. By the way, weird thing. This egg-breaking sequence... Completely impossible as wishy-washy Banjo. It's not that you can't perform the moves required in order to break the egg. It's just that one of the moves... Get out. Get out. It's just that one of the moves is kind of, um... Aims lower whenever you're a washing machine for some reason. It's, it's kind of weird. Alright, now that I've 
taking care of what's over here. Let's make another attempt at that race of the jiggy. Just real quick, I'm gonna double check something. Nope, you cannot flood or jump whenever you're doing that. So I'm gonna have to be super careful as I race along here. If I miss any notes, that's okay. I can patiently grab them on the way back. You know, I made such a big deal about this time limit, and I got here with 22 seconds left. I actually probably could have walked the entire way. But it certainly does a good job of making you panic! Alright, let's go ahead and grab these now. Just about it. Grab this while it's up here. By the way, these things, they're, they're like the uh, musical notes. If you leave the level or die, they reset. So don't leave the level or die. That would be kind of a problem. Alright, now we can go ahead and deal with you guys. He's back! Get him, Flibbits! My aim is sucking, and I'm eating up all my golden feathers. It was kind of annoying having boss music and the, so the feather song playing at the same time. Blub, you're too tough for us, Flibbits. Take the gold! Or something like that. Invincibility is the best way to handle those things, though. Otherwise, they take a couple of hits. Possibly more than a couple. Alright, let's go this way next. It looks super friendly. Ooh, my feet are so numb and cold. Well then, you probably won't feel this. Ah! That's a bit better. Uh, let's not necessarily Talon Trot everywhere. It is... It actually almost takes longer to get into the trot than it is to just jump across. Mmm, tank top's warm at last. Perhaps you'd like this. Why are your feet so cold anyway? We're in a swamp. And last I checked, there's no such thing as a cold swamp. Oh, I should have come this way later on. Huh, how about that? The grabby animation doesn't play whenever you're on stilts. Alright, so here we are in one of those locations that was shown in the puzzle sequence. Quiet, please. The famous Tip Top Choir will now perform my latest work. Bit short, isn't it, Shell Boy? We'll see. Copy what you just heard for lesson one. Ah, yes, Tip Top. Actually made his debut on Diddy Kong Racing for the Nintendo 64. Now that is a great racing game. I actually like it more than Mario Kart 64. even despite the uh, coin collection, the silver coins. 
Hmm, not too bad. Try lesson two. This isn't like Simon. It's not the same pattern extended. So, kind of gotta pay close attention. If you get it wrong, you actually take damage. You can die from this puzzle. Ah, splendid! You just need one more lesson. That's gonna be hard. No, that's not right. Try again or ask me to repeat the lesson. Yeah, this is this is a toughie. Oh, I see that. I knew you'd need to see this one again. Yellow, purple, red, blue. That one, light blue, blue. Yellow, red, no. Yellow, purple, red, blue. I said blue. That one. Come on. Light blue. And... Magnificent! A true masterpiece. Here, take this trinket I found earlier. Tip Top, you are so very different from your character in Diddy Kong Racing. You seem smaller and more energetic in that game. Sorry, there is nothing more I can teach you. That's okay, I just want this. Alright, takes care of that. Um, I have basically 15 minutes left to finish this level. I can do it. Simple. There's only two segments left to this level. Kind of. I am going to have to re-explore parts of it. With a certain transformation. Once again, it's going to be a transformation that allows us to get into the watery type stuff without taking damage. Uh, sorry about that, Gruntilda. It, it was a very nice piece. Honestly, you probably would look very good, better even, with not a pointy hat. You should consider trying to match the style of your statue. You'll be hip! Alright, this is the area I should have come to first. Because eventually these will wind up behind that turtle. Also, this is fun to try to grab. Is, did I say fun? I meant annoying. There we go. And... Jiggy. Alright. I'm already halfway through this level, pretty much. This is an overall quick level. As long as I don't die. Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! Good thing I left this here. And that one ain't worth it. Yet.
Yeah, this is kind of, um, threatening looking. Okay, there's that one. But I want to get over here for some more notes. Oh, I just remembered what one of the uh, challenges in this level is. Don't hit me. You hit me. You're kind of a jerk. Even though I think that you exotic frogs are kind of cute, you hurt. Even real life ones. You're all poisonous and stuff. But you know what? Oh, I think poison is neat. It would be neat to be poisonous. That's why I sometimes like to be a neater in online. It is kind of fun. To be a poison bunny. Okay, I really want those golden feathers. So I'm getting them. No, I don't think I'd be able to reach that from here. I'll have to get to it in the normal way. Watch out for dragonflies. They kind of hurt. Okay, there's the one behind the turtle. I'll just go ahead and go after that one right now while I'm thinking about it. Gee, Grandma, what big teeth you got. It is interesting how this game largely substitutes bottomless pits for damaging water. Or I guess death water, as you might like to call it. Really? I did the first person thing and I still missed. I can probably reach that. Yeah, no problem. Sir Rasha says poison and venom are probably really nifty until the first time you accidentally bite your tongue. Well, I mean, you kind of got a point. Maybe that's why snake tongues are so skinny. Less chance of biting it that way. Heck, they don't even have front teeth. So, not a problem if you're a snake. Okay, how am I doing on this level? Pretty dang good, I'd say. I think I'm actually relatively almost done with this level. Watch out for this guy. And we get to this part. Got ourselves a pseudo maze. Nowhere near as difficult as the temple maze. But this is like two levels before the temple maze, so of course this level is going to be easier. And also quicker to get through. Let's see if I can't fail this. That one is definitely a dangerous one. If you fall off, you wind up down there and stuck in the piranha infested water and have to trek all the way over there. So, you would definitely take a few points of damage. Oh, and this is in addition to fall damage. By the way, in regards to getting the notes here, they're not hard to find. They are always at the end of these posts. 
end of this post, and the end of this post. They're not in the middle of corners. Okay, made it to Mumbo's. What you got for us, dude? First things first, I'm gonna get whatever's up here. Is it just notes? No. It's also this thing that I somehow missed. Let's try that again. Maybe it'll be easier from this side. Perhaps? No, maybe not. Better off from here, where I can actually see it. And I have extra health. Awesome! Kinda need it. I see that behind you. And here we go! Wait, Mumbo needs new boots. Only kidding. Where a little crocodile? That's so cute! And it's also one of the more useful transformations because... Difficult pr uh, perspective aside, we can actually attack as a crocodile. And of course we're immune to the piranhas. Gotta love that thick skin. So because of the codes I have inputted before, big head and big feet. And that is funny. Ah, and then we come to this. You see those shoes over there? They are why I wanted to wait before coming to this place. Also this guy. Her <laughs> I'm Mr. Vile, greediest crock of all. Play my game to win a prize. Press A to accept or B to chicken out. Game is simple. Eat more red yumblies than me. Ready? Three, two, one. Go! So this challenge is completely doable without the shoes. But having the shoes makes this so much easier and I'm totally taking advantage of it. It hypothetically makes this easier. In hindsight, I had not considered how difficult it would be sliding around and having a bigger head. It seems to me that bigger, having a bigger head does not actually afford you much of an advantage. Especially whenever you're having trouble finding the yumblies. I do find it curious, though, that there's a golden red feathers in here. Because they are certainly no use to you as a crocodile. Okay, for the next one, I will have to do a strategy. Because winning by two points is not ideal. Grrr, you only win easy game. Now we play harder game. Eat reds, avoid yellow grumblies. They not ripe. That will keep that in mind. So what I'm going to kind of want to do here, grab the shoes again, but also keep an eye on Mr. Vile, and perhaps go after the ones he's going for, except whenever he suddenly changes directions and throws me off. Where are you getting? I'm going to try to preempt him, is my strategy. But that's actually proving more difficult than I thought, because these things keep popping up, and he changes directions on me. So it seems that even with running shoes, this, this task is not an easy one. And I still only won by a few points. Bah! Lucky Greeny wins. Must play last game. Only eat what is shown at top of screen. In other words, now we can go ahead and eat the yellow ones even though they aren't ripe. 
He is so intent on winning that he's willing to ingest the nasty ones. And this is where things get really tricksy. Because these could change at any moment. And if you happen to be gobbling up the wrong one when the goal changes, it's very likely that you'll wind up stalling. Because when you eat the wrong one, you stop in place and start coughing and choking and stuff. Okay, change please, thank you. Oh, barely won that one. So even with the shoes, this is still tr hard. Mr. Vile never lost before, Greeny can have prize. Mr. Vile now has tougher challenge if Greeny not scared. You must win next three games to win three extra lives. But each time Greeny loses, Mr. Vile chomps you for one life. Press A to accept or B to slide off like a slug. B. Mr. Vile is bad as crock of all. Look everyone! Greeny is scurrying off. <sighs> I kind of want to try that. I'm on camera and I want to try that. Also, I have some very unfortunate news. I seem to have reached my time limit and I'm not done with the level. However, I think... I can kind of get away with this. I believe the last notes are right over here. As well as the last Jinjo. No wait, I got this. Cause that's the last Jiggy. And here's the last notes. So in actuality, I got this level complete right under the wire. So... Lucky me. 27 and a half minutes. Barely managed that. So I'm gonna hit save and quit, but I'm not done yet. Because I decided to do this big head cheat, I wasn't able to make an attempt at... A certain little trick. Well, not, not necessarily a trick. A random chance at something funny happening on the uh, file select screen. There's something I want to happen on camera, so let me see if I can get lucky to trigger it. Nope. There's something random that happens whenever you choose your file. But I couldn't trigger it. Hopefully, it'll trigger at some point during this adventure. Anyway, I do at least want to try for the, uh... For the, um... The extra challenge that Mr. Vile presents. So, uh, next time I will definitely make an attempt at that. I'm gonna have to change back into a croc anyway, because there's something I need to get as a croc outside of Bubble Glue Swamp. So that'll happen next time. In the meantime, I said that I would send you all to Maddie. So there is the raid. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.